Hello everybody, I'm Jake. And I'm Carson. And welcome back to the best sports show of all time. Kick it off. Last Saturday in the UFC, underdog Sean Strickland beat uh, middleweight champion Israel Adesanya by uh, unanimous decision. Basically, uh, Sean Strickland, he got a good shot on Izzy, uh, and it seemed to be that shot seemed to affect him the whole entire match. And he just didn't want to be there. Yeah, he just didn't want to be there. He just didn't want to be there. I mean, it's simple as that, man. You can tell by the whole. You can tell by the whole fight. He was uh, Sean was gonna win personally. I thought if I bet money, I would have bet like 500 that uh, <laughs> that Adesanya was going to win. But I think everyone is as surprised as I was, basically. Yeah, I mean, Izzy, Izzy's a, a champion in the league. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's just surprised everyone. It was shocking. But it's good to see the underdog come up on top, mm -hmm. especially after all the talk that he did um, before the fight. I think Israel I think will be back, though. I think he'll be champion. Oh, I'm sure he will. He yeah. just didn't seem like he wanted it bad enough, you know? Mm -hmm. You can move the script down. All right. <laughs> We can just cut that, maybe. Yeah. All right. On Monday night, the Jets face off against the Bills, and on the fourth play of the game, new New York Jet Aaron Rodgers went down with a torn Achilles. Now, what does this mean for football? This means that there is no Aaron Rodgers for the rest of the year. And the Jets' offense that has been so talked about this offseason just seems to have no point anymore. I mean, it just seems like His that team... Dead. That team is just dead. They're it seems dead. like they're, they're no longer contenders. I feel like contenders. they're cursed, to be honest. They, I, I agree. And mm -hmm. I don't know if they're going to pick up a free agent quarterback like Colin Kaepernick is in talks with the Jets, apparently. But, it's gonna be um, trash. It's gonna be trash. yeah, I mean, it's just it's so bad for football yeah. to see someone like Aaron Rodgers go out like that. And, I mean, in the first week, I mean, every mm -hmm. week I want to watch Aaron Rodgers yeah. play. And, and not being able to watch him play definitely, definitely hurts mm -hmm. me, it hurts my soul, and it just hurts the entire – Entire fan base of the NFL in general. I want to criticize Josh Allen. All right, I had an eighty percent chance to win in fantasy before this game. All right, I had Josh Allen and Garrett Wilson. Josh Allen throws three interceptions and fumbles in the most crucial point of the game. All the right, guy stinks. Puts he, up nine points in fantasy. You can just see <laughs> if you look at guys like Tom Brady, Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes. When they're losing, you look at their face on the sideline, and they have that they have that winner mentality. Yeah. They have that composure in their face, like everything's gonna be okay. If you pay attention to Josh Allen's face when this stuff is happening, he looks like a little kid. He's yeah. like, he looks scared, his eyes get big. Dude, he throws in the, in the triple I coverage. I mean, he just tried, he's either the greatest quarterback of all time or he's literally the worst quarterback in the league. So. Number three safety for the Jets had three interceptions. Yeah, all right. I mean, that just sums up the Bills quarterback room right now. Yeah. Josh Allen doesn't seem to have it when the time comes and when the <laughs> duty gets. Yeah. To be had to be done. <laughs> if he doesn't do good next week, I'm benching him for Deshaun Watson. That's how it is, basically. For sure. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, Texas uh, definitely did prove themselves last Saturday as they beat number three Alabama 34 to 24, ending the Crimson Tide's 21 home game win streak. So, horns up, baby. Horns oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not a swear oh. word, bro. Are you joking? Oh. Does that count? <laughs> Does that count? It's hell. All right, whatever. Just start again. The whole thing? Go ahead. Just go to Texas. Go. No, yeah, Shut up! All right. Moving on. Uh, basically, Connor, shut the fuck up. Shut up! <laughs> Fucking business! <laughs> Screw Vanderbilt, Zach. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Hey, don't say basically and shit. Just like talk. Just right. be like, yeah. just, just speak. Uh, moving on. Texas definitely did prove themselves. Uh, number 11 ranked Texas beat number 3 Alabama, the Crimson Tide, on Saturday night 24 to 14. Wait, what was it? Oh, it was 34 24. Shit. Just start again. We're good, dude. Yeah, hey, no, we're, we're learning fine. here. We're, fine. we're, we're fine. learning. We're yeah, and this kid yeah. just really wants us to be yeah. perfect, but mm -hmm. you know, we're humans and stuff. <laughs> Uh, moving on, Texas, number 11 Texas, definitely did prove themselves on Saturday night as they beat number three ranked Alabama, the Crimson Tide, 34 to 24, ending Alabama's 21 home game win streak. Before, before this, the last time Texas beat Alabama was in 1981, whenever they won 14 to 12. It just seems like, um, I mean, Quinn Ewers just seems mm -hmm. to have figured it out. He I has. mean, he graduated high school early. He mm -hmm. stepped on a college campus when he was barely 18, I think. Yeah at Ohio State and then transferred, transferred. over to Texas. Mm -hmm. And I mean, 
I mean, the, obviously, he's like the LeBron James of college football. Mm -hmm. People thought that he was going to be great, and he's proved everybody right. And it just seems like Texas mm -hmm. is back. They might be a contender. And now that Alabama, you know, is, they're not like they're not the they're not that team anymore. Yeah, they're not that. They team used anymore. to kill everyone, but you yeah, know. they're not. They don't guard anymore. They, they don't. The, the quarterbacks mm -hmm. have just gotten a little bit worse each year. And Jaden Milrow or Jalen Milrow, excuse me, just. Also, again, I hate to be negative, but he just doesn't seem like he has it for mm -hmm. that offense, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of interceptions, a lot of bad decisions. Yeah. and uh -huh. We'll see if Nick Saban can figure it out. I'm sure he will. He's obviously the greatest yeah. coach in the history of college football. They'll definitely football. make a bowl game, but I don't think they're going to make it to the playoffs. Hey, obviously. keep an eye out for Colorado, though, you mm -hmm. know? Keep definitely. an eye out. All right. Are we just going to say thank you for watching our show today? Yeah. All right. Yeah, go for it. Thank you for watching our show today. I'm Jake. <laughs> and I'm Carson. Have a great day and a great weekend. Yep.